What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko. Today we're at the Toronto Regional. Uh, the event hasn't started yet, but uh, we're gonna be playing Hero in today's event. Just something that I cooked up and it's a uh, Flame Wingman Hero. It's not just your typical hero, it's Flame Wingman OTK and I wanna show you guys how to build this deck. Now if you guys enjoy these videos, make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate every single one of you and let's get right into the deck profile. So here, we are playing two elemental hero Stratos, of course. Stratos is obviously really important, one of your best starters. We're only playing two, I don't think you need the third. Um, it really is just once you resolve it once, you're fine. And then uh, keep in mind, because it's an OTK deck, you need more space for hand traps and cards to break boards. So I think two Stratos is fine. Same thing with Shadow Mist, we only like playing two. Two is more than what you need, honestly. Uh, one Honest Neos. And then of course we're playing the one burst Sinatrix and one Avion. And this is searchable as part of your combo, so you never really have to worry about bricking on these. These opening them in your hand is not good, but you can also still combo if you do open one of them. It's not like the worst thing in the world. But yeah, these are obviously the bricks of the deck, but they make your Flame Wing Man. And they make a lot more plays because they make your Sunrise as well and stuff, which is really nice. So that's it for the elemental hero cards. Th these are pretty good ratios, I would say. You can play the third Stratos, I just I don't feel like you really need it because uh you just start opening too much of them and you want to OTK, right? So as soon as you get your combos off, a lot of your combos don't even have to start with Stratos. That's why I only like the two. Uh, we're playing three Ferris, two Vion, and one Increase. You can play two so you don't brick on this, but uh, like, because if you open this and you don't have a second one in deck, it can be bad. I only like playing the one because I just don't want to draw it. And then this is all you need for the, you know, your combos and, and your starters and whatnot. For Destiny Heroes, we're just playing two Mali and one Denier. Um, this is all you need. You don't need Plasma or you don't need uh, Dark Angel because, of course, this is a second deck, so you don't need to be setting up boards like that. You can side, and I'll show you guys a side deck as well, but you would be able to side like the Plasma and Dark Angel, but in this build, because you're trying to OTK, uh, you're not playing those. Then we're playing um, three Hero Lives, of course. Uh, this is your one-card starter. This is why another reason why we're only playing the one Stratos, or the two Stratos, I should say, because like this is always, always going to be getting you into this, essentially, so... Uh, three Hero Lives, obviously a very, very powerful card. Then we're playing uh, three Fusion Destiny, of course. This is one of your best starters as well. Uh, just like Hero Lives, if you don't open Stratos or Hero Lives, this is essentially going to be able to combo you like crazy as well because you're sending Mali, you're sending Denier, and you're going to be able to start all your combos as well. So three Fusion Destiny, of course, is very important. Then we're playing uh, the one Polymerization and the one Miracle Fusion. Uh, I wanted to play two Poly because I know Kashtara can sometimes... Uh, uh, banish cards off the top of your deck and stuff and losing these does kind of suck but I think you only really need the one on one because we're playing so many hand traps that you guys are going to see where uh, you know you should stop Kashtar from even ever being able to do that to begin with so one on one is perfectly fine we're playing three mass change um, three mass change is important even though this is an OTK build one because if you do go into Dark Law you can also go into Anki which can help you OTK but another reason is because like you have cards like Blast here which are going to let your Stratos resolve and whatnot which is really nice so I still like playing the three Stratos or the three mass change I mean I should say um, because it helps you combo helps you if you're going first makes dark law if you don't OTK which is really nice one rota of course uh, one call by the grave you want your combos to go off and then we're playing the one harpy's feather duster we don't want to deal with the back row of course so the uh, really powerful one of there then we're playing 10 hand traps so I'm playing three ash three nib uh, three imperm as well as the one veiler now you guys might be thinking okay one veiler is kind of weird uh, I really like the idea of playing 10 hand traps the one veiler it could be nine and the one like that this veiler could be straddles if you want to play a three straddles so this is like the one card that can kind of come out but I do like this in today's format a lot um, it's not bad into math Mac. It's not bad into Kashtara. Like all of these cards are really good into Math Mech, Kashtara. They might not be as like super high impact into all of them, but if you're opening one to two hand traps with of course like, you know, all your combo pieces, this deck also like has a lot of gas, right? So even if they do have a hand trap, it's not like one hand trap is gonna stop you. The only hand trap you're actually afraid of is Nibiru in this deck, but it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, I think playing 10 hand traps makes it so that you can play against any matchup and still be relatively, uh, you know, successful especially with something like Imperm like if you draw this as your sixth card it's really powerful as well right so even if you don't draw it right away uh, drawing it as your sixth card can help you break boards and that's it for the main deck it's 40 cards on the dot in the main deck for the extra deck we're playing uh, one Dark Law, one Anki and one Blast so these are the mass change targets like I said and you're not playing Ab Zero you're not playing any of those because you're not really comboing in this deck to like make boards you're comboing in this deck to, to break boards right I think I'm gonna patent that line actually, I really like that line. Um, but yeah, so then uh, we're playing the one Sunrise of course, uh, the one Flame Wingman, as well as the one Wake Up Your Elemental Hero. This is kind of like your OTK package. Um, this is gonna be something that you make with Avion and Burstinatrix, and you search Miracle Fusion, and that's kind of how you go into this boy over here. And then you can kill with uh, the Flame Wingman, which is really powerful. But the thing is, truthfully, you're not really ever actually gonna be using, like, it sucks to suck. Um, you're never actually gonna be using Flaming Man to go for game and there are times I guess you can it's fun to do But uh, yeah, you're never really gonna be using this to go for game just because it's like it's, it's just not powerful enough on its own um, But you know when you still this essentially this combo lets you get into sunrise and then lets you get into the wake up your elemental hero And this card is insane to be able to OTK. So that's why we're playing the wake up. Uh, we're playing the one Trinity 
Trinity is really powerful to OTK as well. It's just one of those cards where you make this when your opponent goes kind of wide and you can just OTK with this. Um, one DPE is really all you need, unlike the other decks. Like, you know, you, you're going second here. It's not like you're DPE controlling, which is nice. Um, one Dystopia, and Dystopia is really good because it's one of those things where it's like, in time, you burn your opponent. It's just one of those really powerful cards as well. It's another Fusion Destiny target as well for you. So I really like this card. And then over here, I want to say this. So this is this extra deck that I'm going to be showing you guys is only 14 cards. It's not 15. And the main reason it's not 15 is because the 15th card, um, it kind of depends on what you think is more important. So here in this case, like the 15th card could be a second DPE so that it doesn't get ripped out by Kashtara. But you could also argue it could be a second Flame Wingman because if Flame Wingman gets ripped out by Kashtara, then some of your combos can't go through, right? Because it's really important that you have the Flame Wingman just so you can reveal it off of your Infernal Divisor. So if they rip the Flame Wingman, then you can't reveal it off this and then it kind of gets your combos it kind of hinders your combos right so you could argue playing a second flame wingman playing a second dpe um none of these i don't think you need two of like i don't think you need two of any of these so i don't think that's a problem so i just wanted to leave that up to you guys it's really up to whatever you guys want to play i'm going to end up actually just playing the second dpe just because i feel like if we're not otking the second dpe is better um but yeah this i just wanted to show you guys this could be either one of those and it's fine and then for the link monsters uh we're playing two cross crusader of course really important one dread decimator one wonder driver and then this is your combo piece infernal divisor so that's for the extra deck um i'm gonna show you guys a side deck here real quick just because um especially for today's format i built the side deck to kind of compete against everything so for this side deck, we're playing three Lightning Storm, of course. Um, this card obviously really go good going second, uh, being able to break boards, especially back row. Like you hate back row, so that's why I'm playing two Cosmic Cyclone. Like I, I th this deck can deal with a lot of like you know the meta like Koshtara, Math Mac, uh, all those kind of decks because you're playing so many hand traps. But a lot of these hand traps are not really good against back row decks. I know Labyrinth can be kind of uh, popular and people play it, so I really don't want to deal with those. Same thing with Trap Trick. These cards are the best card to deal with it. I'm um, playing two Regeki. Um, I, Regeki makes a lot of sense in this deck. I know it sounds weird, but it just kind of like if you can clear your opponent's board um just even something as simple as a regeki you can be just honestly winning the game right away so i really like two regeki this put, this deck puts up a lot of damage so these are our going second cards over here we're not playing that many go second cards in the deck because the main deck already plays so many go second cards right so the things you want to focus on in the side deck is you're going first cards so i'm playing one plasma and one dark angel and this is because if your opponent forces you go to, to go first or you think it's a better situation for you to go first because your opponent thinks you want to go second again let's just say um you can side these in and you can start dark angel in your opponent which is very very powerful and so Something that's insane with Dark Angel is three dark rivalry. So I really like this card because again, when you're forced to go first, if you're able to set up a Dark Angel rivalry lock, even without the rivalry, it's insane. But because like against Kostra, for example, um, it makes it so that they have a monster on the side of the field. They can't activate spell cards. They're kind of like done under Dark Angel. Um, I don't even know how they would tribute someone for this. Like it'd be, it'd be pretty difficult to do that. So it, it's kind of weird where it's, it puts them in a bad position. And then if you have like Dark Angel rivalry, for example, this is insane to everything. It's a math mac into everything, right? Because they have a warrior on this side of the field. And unless they're playing a warrior based deck, which there aren't really any this format, then this kind of just, you know, shuts them out. So these are really good for going first. And then I also like playing three judgment for going first. Um, just generic insane really powerful card right because this deck doesn't put up negates so if you are forced to go first the best thing you can do is like set up like a dark angel plus like a dpe let's just say and that is powerful don't get me wrong but you know if your opponent has an out to it you're kind of stuck so and you, and you don't have any omni negates it's not I, like you actually have any negates so judgment does that for you um but that's it for the deck um that's the entire deck uh, i know flame wing man is not the way people like to play heroes now i just you know I, i'm a big hero guy flame wing man is a card that got me into the game and i was thinking of like what's a cool way to play hero uh and i just think the flame wing man is the way to go now if you guys want to see combos let me know in the comment section down below we're not going to do combos today uh but i could do a combo video for you guys as well uh, thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already that's my flame wing man elemental hero deck profile and with that spank out peace